Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up Canvas Mastery Paths within your Canvas course using Canvas modules. So the first thing that you would do is you would create a Canvas module, and I've already done that, and I've named it Canvas Mastery Path Demo. So after you do that, you have to create the pre-assessment quiz. And so I've already created the pre-assessment quiz and it's called Digital Natives. This is a module that's about technology mindset and why we need to have our students um, understand digital literacy and technology mindset in order to prepare them for the 21st century. So this is actually a module I've used in a professional development workshop. So I've actually already created the quiz. So here is the quiz. And when you do this, um, this is where you're going to create the paths. So if your students score a certain, um, a certain, um, if they receive a certain score on the actual quiz, certain Canvas pages, discussions, and quizzes are going to show up that will relate just to them. So I'm going to go under Edit, and I'm going to navigate to Mastery Paths. And when I do that, you're going to see that there are three different sections. There's one right up here, 18 to 25, there's 10 to 17, and then there's zero through nine. I'm going to put Canvas pages, discussions, and quizzes that relate to um, that path that I want my teachers in this situation to participate in. So for um, 18 to 25, so if the students score between 18 to 25 on this initial pre-assessment, in the module, um, these Canvas pages and discussions are only going to show up for them. So for this path, the students are going to look at a, uh, is, are going to read some information about what they're going to do. They're going to read an article about Alice, um, that Alice Keeler has written called One Space After the Period. They're going to read another article called Why Modern Learners Need a New Set of Skills. And then they're going to participate in a discussion um, that relates to the articles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add that um, underneath that first path. And the way that I do that is I just click on plus and I'm going to add in one space after the period. So that is a page first and I'm going to add that in and then I'll hit add item. So then I'll add in the next one. So that was a page and then the next one that I want to add in is an actual quiz. So I'm going to go over here to all items. I'm going to select quiz. And I'm going to go over to one space after the period and add that there. The third thing that I'm going to add in is why modern learners need a new set of skills, which is another article that I included in a page. So I'm going to add that in and hit add item. And the very last activity that the students will complete is a discussion that um, asks them why, um, which, um, which, um, which part of why modern need why modern learners need a new set of skills? Which one do they think is the most um, applicable to the students that they have? So I'll go to discussions, and then I will add that in. So now, if my students score between an 18 and 25, these are the articles and the quizzes and the discussions that are they're going to see. Remember, I have already created all of these pages and quizzes and discussions, and then I put them into the module. Okay. So the next thing I'll do that for 10 through 17 in this path, my students are going to um, read an article called 21st Century Learners. They're going to take a quiz. Then they're going to read another article called The Eight Skills Students Must Have for the Future. And then they're going to participate in a text entry assignment. So I'm going to add that to the module right now. So um, if you go over here, you can navigate over to pages and that kind of narrows that list down so you can find just what you need. And so I'll check that and add the item. And then I can add in another one, a quiz. And then I'm going to add in the eight skills, which is another page. And then the very last item that I'm going to add in is a text entry assignment that will sh show mastery of learning. Okay. So I believe that you get the idea of how that works. So I just add in the items to that quiz. 
So the next um, item that the next thing that you need to do is you need to add these um, pages, quizzes, and discussions. You need to add that underneath the module in order for it to work. So if I go over here to modules on the left hand side, I've added it to my pre-assessment, but I haven't added it to the actual module yet. And I would just repeat the same, um, I would just add, I would kind of repeat the same sequence. But what I found has really been helpful is if I create text headers, so I know what information I'm adding and it just helps me as a teacher stay organized. So. What I did first is I added, I made text headers that said group um, one, group two, and group three. And that just kind of helped me keep organized and helped me understand kind of the flow of the module. So I put in group one, add item, and then I published that. And then I added in another one, uh, group two. And then another one, group three. Okay, so then I'm going to put my information underneath the module. So remember, in that first pre-assessment quiz, I had um, information about the article one space after the period, and then why modern learners need a new set of skills, and then I had the discussion. So that's what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna go over here to the plus over here on the module, and I'm going to find the page that I need. So one space after the period was the first one. It was a page that kind of explained it and then I'm gonna move it under group one. And then I also had the quiz. And then I had another assignment where they were gonna look at the modern, they were gonna read an article called Why Modern Learners Need a New Set of Skills. And then the very last uh, activity was a discussion. And they were asking which one of those three R's, researching, reflecting, or resolving, was the most important and why. So then I just added it here. And then I would repeat the process for group two and group th three. So what happens is when the students take that quiz, um, when they take that quiz, the only information that will unlock will be the information that pertains to their particular um, that pertains to their particular um, score. So, for example, if they scored at 18 to 25, the only items that they're going to see are right here. Okay. If they scored between a 17 and a 24, they would see the items below here, and vice versa. So, I kind of I hope that helps you understand um, how to set up. Canvas Mastery Paths within Canvas modules.